In the vast tapestry of history, animals have often played remarkable roles that have gone unnoticed. Yet their stories are a testament to the special connection that exists between humans and the animal kingdom. Studies reveal that this bond can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and create moments of awe and inspiration. Join us on our YouTube channel, Animal Farm Africa, as we embark on a captivating journey to explore the lives of 20 extraordinary animals who have left an indelible mark on our world. These unsung heroes range from the heartwarming tale of Bobby the Wonder Dog, who embarked on an incredible 2,551-mile journey to reunite with his family, to the captivating story of Heidi the Cross-Eyed Opossum, a lovable character from the Leipzig Zoo who captured the hearts of thousands worldwide. Our channel will not only delve into the stories of these 20 incredible animals, but also introduce you to a multitude of other fascinating creatures. Be prepared to be amazed by their courage, resilience, and the astonishing feats they've accomplished. At Animal Farm Africa, we are dedicated to sharing the lesser-known tales of the animal kingdom, fostering a deeper understanding of the world we share with these remarkable beings. Join us as we embark on a journey that is sure to warm your heart, inspire you, and leave you with a greater appreciation for the unique bond between humans and animals. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and be a part of our community that celebrates the incredible world of animals. Let's explore, learn, and be inspired together. Stay tuned for fascinating stories of animals that have made their mark in history and the hearts of people worldwide. This is Animal Farm Africa, where every animal has a story, and every story deserves to be heard. The first on the long list is Heidi the Cross-Eyed Opossum. In the past couple years, a large number of animals in German zoos have made international headlines, including Newt, Flock, Paul, the Octopus, and Heidi. Heidi was a cross-eyed North American opossum that was given to the Leipzig Zoo by Denmark's Odense Zoo in May 2010. Heidi was originally raised at a wild animal sanctuary in the U.S. state of North Carolina after being abandoned. In 2011, she was placed at the Leipzig Zoo in a tropical wildlife exhibit. Heidi lived alongside two other opossums at the zoo, which is a bit unusual because opossums are solitary and nocturnal animals. Heidi's eye condition did not affect her health, but did make her vulnerable in the wild. After photographs of Heidi were published on the internet, she quickly became one of the most popular members of the Leipzig Zoo. Heidi inspired a popular YouTube song, A Line of Stuffed Animals, and gained over 332, 963 followers on Facebook. Before her death, she had three times more Facebook admirers than German Chancellor Angela Merkel. In 2011, Heidi received an offer to appear at the 83rd Academy Awards via video broadcast. Instead, she appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live in a series of pre-taped vignettes in which she predicted the winners of three Oscar categories, in September of 2011, it was announced that the cross-eyed opossum Heidi had closed her eyes forever. Heidi was euthanized by the zoo on September 28, 2011 after suffering from an unspecified health condition. Sadly, it was not the first time that a famous German animal has died prematurely. Both Knut the polar bear and Paul the octopus died very young. Next on the list is Bobby the Wonder Dog. In 1923, Bobby traveled with his family from Silverton, Oregon to Indiana. He was a two-year-old Scotch Collie English Shepherd mix. During the vacation, Bobby was separated from his owners and became lost. After an exhaustive search, the family could not find their dog and was forced to return home to Oregon. Six months later, in February of 1924, Bobby appeared on the doorstep of his home in Silverton. He was extremely skinny, dirty, and weak. His feet were worn to the bone and Bobby had walked 2,551 miles 4,105 km across the United States to return home. During the voyage, Bobby covered huge plains, desert, and mountains. His story quickly spread around the country. People from all over the world started to send Bobby letters and he was given the nickname Bobby the Wonder Dog. He was featured in newspaper articles, books, and film. Bobby was given a jewel-studded harness and collar. 
At one show in Portland, Oregon, Bobby attracted a crowd of 40,000 spectators. In 1927, Bobby the Wonder Dog died at the age of six. He was buried with honors at the Oregon Humane Society's Pet Cemetery in Portland. A week after Bobby's death, the famous German shepherd Rin Tin Tin laid a wreath at his grave. The next on this famous list is Oliver. Many articles have featured the story of Oliver, who was a common chimpanzee that displayed some human-like characteristics. In the 1960s, Oliver was acquired by trainers Frank and Janet Berger and raised in their home. He was an unusual-looking chimp and had a flatter face. Oliver was habitually bipedal and did not walk on his knuckles like other apes. In 2006, he was the subject of a Discovery Channel documentary in which Janet Berger claimed that by the time Oliver was 16, he had become sexually attracted to her, so she was forced to get rid of him. Oliver was then sold to Ralph Helfer, who owned a theme park called Enchanted Village in Buena Park, California. He was displayed at the park in a show that labeled Oliver a human-ape hybrid, or possible new subspecies. In 1982, his unusual characteristics were featured in a Los Angeles Times article, and he was later transferred to a scientific and cosmetic testing facility. In 1998, Oliver was sent to a spacious open-air cage at Primarily Primates in Bexar County, Texas. His DNA was tested by a geneticist from the University of Chicago, who reported that Oliver had a normal chromosome count for a chimpanzee. Oliver's bizarre cranial morphology, ear shape, freckles, and baldness are said to fall within the range of variability exhibited by the common chimpanzee. On June 2, 2012, Oliver died peacefully in his sleep at Primarily Primates. He was at least 55 years old, with the average lifespan for a male chimp in captivity being 35. Africa's oldest known chimpanzee was Gregoire, who died in 2008 at the age of 66. After his death, Oliver's handler responded with the quote, He was just on a different level. He had very human-like traits. He loved coconut sorbet and that food got the biggest hoots and hollers. But if he didn't like something, he'd hand the bowl back to you, like the time he tried sugar-free pistachio pudding. After his death, Oliver's body was cremated and his ashes were spread over the grounds of primary primates. In 2011, the character of Caesar in the movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes was based on Oliver. Have you heard about Smokey? In 1943, Smokey was born in an unknown location. She was a Yorkshire Terrier, which is an extremely small breed of dog that was originally developed in Yorkshire, England, to catch rats in clothing mills. In February 1944, Smokey was found by an American soldier in an abandoned foxhole in the New Guinea jungle. She was only four pounds, 1.8 kilo, and stood seven inches, 180 millimeter tall. It was initially thought that Smokey was a Japanese war dog, but she did not understand commands in Japanese or English. For the next two years, Smokey backpacked through the jungle with Corporal William A. Wynn. Smokey slept in Wynn's tent and she shared his rations. Smokey served in the South Pacific with the 5th Air Force and participated in 12 air-sea rescue and photo reconnaissance missions. She survived 150 air raids on New Guinea and made it through a typhoon at Okinawa. Smokey even parachuted from 30 feet, 9.1 ym in the air, out of a tree, using a parachute made just for her. In 1944, Yank Down Under magazine named Smokey the champion mascot in the Southwest Pacific area. Her largest contribution to the Allied forces was with her incredible hearing and sense for danger. On multiple occasions, Smokey saved the life of Wynne and warned soldiers of incoming fire. In 1944, Smokey made national headlines when she helped engineers build an airbase at Lin Guyan Gulf, Luzon. During the construction, a Signal Corps team needed to run a telegraph wire through a 70-foot-long, 21M pipe that was 8 inches, 200 millimeter in diameter. Wynn attached the line to Smokey, and she got the job done. According to an Animal Planet investigation, Smokey was also the first war therapy dog on record. At the end of World War II, Smokey was smuggled back into the United States hidden in a modified oxygen mask carrying case. After her return, Smokey became a national celebrity and performed her skills for crowds, 
which included walking a tightrope while blindfolded. On February 21, 1957, Smokey died unexpectedly at the age of approximately 14. Next on this famous list is Fido. During World War II, a huge number of dogs were killed in military attacks. People's pets were forced to flee their families and live on the streets. One of the most famous street dogs from World War II is Fido. Fido is a Latin word that means faithful one. In November 1941, on his way home from the bus stop, a brick worker in Borgo San Lorenzo, which is in the Tuscan province of Florence, Italy, found Fido lying injured in a roadside ditch. Not knowing who the dog belonged to Carlo Soriani, took him home and nursed Fido back to health. After Fido recovered, he followed Soriani to the bus stop every day and watched him board the bus for work. When the bus returned, Fido was always there to greet Soriani with great joy. The pattern repeated for two years until December 30, 1943, when Borgo San Lorenzo was subjected to a violent Allied bombardment and many factories were hit. Thousands of people were killed, including Carlo Soriani. Despite his friend's death, Fido returned to the bus stop looking for Soriani every day for 14 more years, more than 5,000 times. People began to notice the dog and he became a media sensation in Italy. Fido came to symbolize extreme loyalty. He died on June 9, 1958, while still waiting for his master. The news of his death was announced by multiple newspaper articles. Fido is not the only dog to have become famous for public acts of extreme dedication to an individual person. Some other dogs have shown their ending love, include Hachiko, Shep, and Greyfriars Bobby. Number 5 on the list is Gua. Gua was born on November 15, 1930, in Havana, Cuba. On May 13, 1931, she was donated to the Yerkes Regional Primate Research Center in Orange Park, Florida. The center specialized in the study of chimpanzees. At the age of 7 one two months, Gua became the first chimpanzee to be used in a cross-rearing study when she was taken to the home of scientists Luella and Winthrop Kellogg and placed alongside their 10-month-old child, Donald. The goal of the experiment was to give Gua the same environmental advantages as Donald and then compare the similarities differences between the two. For nine months, the Kelloggs recorded the development of Gua and Donald. Gua often tested ahead of Donald in reading and understanding. She learned to walk faster and used a cup and spoon before Donald. The two differed in their perception of human recognition. Gua recognized people from their clothes and their smell, while Donald recognized them by their faces. In physical tests, Gua performed better at jumping, climbing, and at using her feet. However, the two were similar in overall strength at such a young age. As they matured, Gua would become much stronger. By the age of 16 months, Donald was starting to communicate, but Gua could not speak. After nine months, the experiment was stopped when Donald started to copy the vocalizations made by Gua. She was eventually returned to the primate center in Florida. Gua died on December 21, 1933 from pneumonia and was only three years old. Sadly, in 1972, the human subject, Donald Agar Kellogg, committed suicide. Next is Shrek. In 1994, Shrek, who is a merino male sheep, was born in Bendigo Station near Terrace, New Zealand. In 1998, Shrek decided to leave Bendigo Station and enter the high country of central Otago on the South Island. For six years, Shrek lived off the land. In the winter, he had little to no food available, but survived. In 2004, Shrek was found hiding in a rock cave near the Bendigo High Country Ranch by a team looking for sheep. When discovered, the workers could hardly believe the sight of the sheep. He had avoided being sheared for six years, which is normally an annual process for a male merino. Shrek was practically unrecognizable. The wool covered over 75% of his body and his fleece contained enough wool to make suits for 20 men. It total, Shrek's coat weighed 27 kilo, 60 lb, with an average merino fleece weighing around 4.5 kilo, 9.9 lb. Merino sheep are known for having some of the finest and softest wool in the world. Due to his abnormal size and fun attitude, Shrek was named after the television ogre. In New Zealand, where sheep outnumber people by more than 10 to 1, 
Shrek became a major celebrity. He was taken to the parliament to meet the New Zealand Prime Minister and became a national icon. A few days after his capture, Shrek's shearing was broadcast live on national television. It took a professional shearer 20 minutes to cut the 60 pounds of wool from his body. The giant fleece was auctioned off for children's medical charities. After the event, Shrek became a hero and raised over $150,000 for kids. He had an unbelievable personality. He loved children and was really good with the elderly in retirement homes. Sadly, Shrek was euthanized on June 6, 2011, on the advice of a veterinary surgeon. He was 16 or 17 years old. Next world-famous animal is... Congo. Congo was a chimpanzee that is considered the greatest animal painter in history. He was born in 1954 and produced about 400 drawings and paintings between the ages of 2 and 4. His artwork provoked strong reactions during the 1950s, ranging from scorn to skepticism. Pablo Picasso was a big fan of Congo and had one of his paintings displayed in his studio. In the late 1950s, Salvador Dali saw one of Congo's canvases and gave the famous quote, the hand of the chimpanzee is quasi-human, the hand of Jackson Pollock is totally animal. The artwork of Congo falls under the category of abstract impressionism, which is similar to Jackson Pollock. Congo was a natural artist and understood the notion of color balance and scrubbing. He was a purist and could make unique pigments. If his art was taken away before he considered it complete, Congo would scream and throw a fit. Also, if the ape considered one of his drawings to be finished, he would refuse to continue painting, even if someone tried to persuade him to do so. Congo is one of the best-selling animal artists in history. On June 20, 2005, three of his paintings were included in an auction at Bonhams, alongside works by Renoir and Warhol, and were sold for more than $26,000. In 1964, Congo died of tuberculosis at the age of 10. Next is the dog named Wheelie Willie. In 1991, Wheelie Willie, who was a Chihuahua, was born in Long Beach, California. From a very young age, he was abused by his owner, who attempted to murder him. Willie was found inside a cardboard box with spinal injuries and a cutthroat. He was taken to a veterinary hospital and saved, but Willie would never walk again. He was nicknamed Chili Willie, because before his hair grew back, he shivered all the time. Willie was eventually adopted by groomer Deborah Turner, who did everything she could to make him happy. In one case, Turner tried to help Willie walk by attaching a large helium-filled balloon to his hindquarters and putting him on a skateboard, but the experiment had little success. When K9 carts became commercially available, Willie was fitted with one of the smallest models. He adapted quickly to the cart and could move around with ease. His story caught the attention of local media and Willie became a national celebrity. He was featured on the Animal Planet television network and multiple talk shows. Wheelie Willie became a model for people with physical disabilities and made frequent public appearances promoting mutual understanding. He traveled the world and visited hundreds of hospitals to make children feel better. He was extremely popular in Japan. When Willie met Prince Hitachi and Princess Hanako, the royals got down on the floor to greet him which caused a minor sensation in Japan. Willie became the subject of two best-selling children's books. He had a great personality and was an inspiration for everyone he touched. Sadly, on December 22, 2009, Willie died from injuries he sustained after Turner slipped on her porch and Willie fell out of her arms. He was 18 years old. Willie Willie's message will not be forgotten. Life is what you make of it. Jay, don't forget check out the second part of this video on top 20 world famous animals. That's it on today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like and share to anyone you think might need this information.